Hello everyone, I'm Chef Ron Locke, and I'm taking a little bit of a break here from filming on the Chef Ron Locke Show to talk to you today about my new cooking show called the Chef Ron Locke Show. That's going to be coming out March of 2014. That's right, in just a couple of months we're going to be coming out with this show that we hope you all will enjoy as much as we're enjoying making it. Now, I've had a couple people ask me, in fact I've had a few people ask me a couple questions right off the bat. First thing they ask me is, well, who is this Chef Ron Locke? And secondly, they ask, why does Chef Ron Locke think he needs to come out with a cooking show? These are good questions, they're good valid points they're making because, quite frankly, I'm not all that well known. I'm on a few social media sites and I have my own website. And other than that, other than having a 30-year-old career in culinary world, I really don't have that much exposure out there. But let me tell you a little bit about myself and maybe you'll understand a little bit more why I'm feeling compelled to putting out this show. First of all, I have started cooking at the age of five years old with my mom. Now, I can remember the day I walked into my kitchen at my, at my parents' house and smelling, well, I'll, I'll get into that later on. <laughs> I don't want to take up all your time with that right now, but I started at the age of five with my mom and from there I went into the 80s learning a little bit of staging in a friend's family restaurant. And from that point into the 90s, I started my own culinary business, which I've had for over 20 years now. So I've got a little bit of experience in the culinary world, and a few years back I actually went to school and obtained my associate's degree as a chef in the culinary arts. So I've kind of amassed a little bit of experience along the way. Now with that experience, I thought, what would be a great idea to give back to everyone else than to give back some of that experience, paying it forward, right? And that's what I'm all about, you know, motivating and paying it forward. So I thought, let me take all these experiences I've had over the past 30 or years or so and give that back to the people. So it's kind of motivated me to do this cooking show. Now, there's a lot of cooking shows. There's, there's tons of cooking shows out there, and they all basically have their own agenda or their own thing that they do. Um, a lot of people have their own favorites like Paula Dean or Emeril Lagasse. There's others, many, many others out there that have done this genre through the course of time. What I have found is that there wasn't really a lot of them that really catered to something that I really like to do and enjoy. And it's really just making short and simple meals for people that are on the go or don't have a lot of time in their day to make meals but still don't want to get fast food or don't have the money to go out for restaurants and want to feed their families and also feed them on a budget as well because let's face it you know times are pretty tough still for a lot of us out there so I wanted to make something very easy for people to get back in the kitchen and, and, and get motivated and excited again so that is kind of the premise of what I'm trying to do here on this cooking show that I want to present to everybody. So I want to just give you a little bit of an idea of who I was and why I'm being motivated to create this show. Now I'm, I'm going on the three E's here. I'm going on an easy system, I'm going on giving you some education, and I'm also trying to make this a little bit of an entertainment for you all as well. And that's where my cast comes in. I've got four friends, and I'll have some other ones coming in along the way, but I've got four friends that all have their own colorful personalities that will be introducing the show and the ingredients for the recipes that we'll be doing on the Chef Ron Lock show. And then I'll come in a little bit later and I'll show you the whole procedures of how to put everything together. That's how the show is going to work. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to kind of loosen things up a little bit with some of my colorful friends and then I'll come back and we'll show you how to put it all together and make it short and simple and easy for you and hopefully save you a little money on the way. That's what the show is all about. So what I thought I would do is since we're kind of getting close to releasing the first episode of this show, I wanted to go ahead and put together a little montage of some of the episodes that we've already done for you. It's about maybe three minutes, four minutes long. I hope that's not too long for you all out there to watch to give you an idea what the Chef Ron Locke show is all about and who Chef Ron Locke is. Now you're not going to see the ingredient presenters, my friends, in this particular set of clips. This is going to be just my Half of, this, half of the show and my clips that I'm going to be giving to you. Those other clips of my friends will be coming in the next couple of weeks or so. I'm going to be producing out some 
additional promotional clips here leading up to when the show is released. But this is the first official one that we're putting out there for y'all, and I hope you really enjoy it. So I'm going to keep quiet here, and I'm just going to let you enjoy the next three and a half minutes of a montage of little clips of the Chef Ron Locke show that you can expect to see coming March of 2014. So let's roll the film, enjoy, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks. Well, hi everyone, Chef Ron here. How's everyone doing out there today? I want to welcome all of you to the premier episode of the Chef Ron Log Show. I am so excited to be here. There is nothing greater than loving something you do and being able to share that back with people that you want to give back to. And, and that's what I'm doing here with some great recipes, some great tips, and a little fun on the side. I wanted to bring him on because I think it's really important to show men out there that it's okay to be in the kitchen. You know, there's some guys out there who really think, you know, chefing and cooking is all a woman's work. Well, you know what? That's not necessarily true. And a lot of these stereotypes need to be broken down. You know, we all like to eat, right? We all have one thing in common. Men, women, we all have one thing in common. We like to eat. We have to eat, right? It's, we have to live. So but this is a fantastic, fantastic recipe that you're going to enjoy. And it's very simple to put together. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing as I always say you want to do is go ahead and make sure that your hands are nice and clean and your environment is nice and clean in your kitchen because you don't want to spread any germs around, that's for sure. We're going to go ahead and roll up our sleeves here because we're going to get a little busy. We're going to start heating up the kitchen here. And I'm going to go ahead and put together this very, very, very simple but very, very tasty salad for you today. Okay. If you don't want to use the pie crust again, certainly go ahead and use an 8x8 casserole dish with this particular recipe. Okay, so let's get started and we'll work on the ingredients and get heating, getting things heating up in here. I'm so excited, I can't talk. <laughs> now on the show here, we use these, these glass jars and ideally, if you're at home, you probably wouldn't use these presentation type things and you would just go ahead and use a quarter cup like that. All right, like so. You can see how sometimes it's hard to get it off the spatula like that. <laughs> you want to get it. And here they are, right here. And uh, well, there's minus one, but we're going to get to that one in just a second. <laughs> no, I didn't eat it yet. <laughs> but I wanted to show you, uh, we showed the little clip of them here in the uh, intro back to our next segment that we're doing right now. And so, I'm going to go ahead right now and just take a little taste of this and just see if it matched up to what the recipe normally does. And uh, let me go ahead and just cut into this right now. All right, just like that. Yeah, grab a little napkin here, just in case this thing tends to want to spill. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it has a mouthful. Let me tell you though, when you take a bite into this casserole for the first time, what you're going to taste right off the bat is the corn tortilla taste. It's got its very Mexican flavor to it. I really do. I hope you come back next week and check out our next recipe and our guest star ingredient present presentator. <laughs> I had brownie still going in my mouth. <laughs> anyway. This is Chef Ron Locke with the Chef Ron Locke Show saying to y'all, let's keep it short and simple out there, and let's start heating up that kitchen. We're going to see y'all next time. Y'all have a great day. <laughs>